Today we're at Jungle Gyms, myself and Katie, she's recording for me, the SIN class, and we are going to show you guys how to shop cheaply for good healthy food. So the first place we are at is Jungle Gyms. Uh, if you've never been here, it's a really cool international food market down in Cincinnati, Ohio, and it has literally everything possible. So let's head inside. Another try out. <laughs> okay, Kerrygold cheese is a type of cheese. You can actually find this a lot at Aldi's. And Kerrygold does not say that it's grass fed on it, but if you read on the side, it's actually from Ireland and it is from grass pastured or grass cows that graze on pastures. So this happens to be too. <laughs> Okay, this is another alternative, Gerber's Amish Farm Chicken. This is not necessarily the highest quality chicken, it's not organic or anything, but it is free of antibiotics, it's free of pesticides, it is grain fed, so it's not going to be fed all the junk that a lot of your Purdue or your Tyson chickens are. It also is a good compromise on price. Um, for natural the thighs, this is only $1.29 a pound. Organic, it would be probably close to $5.99 a pound. So this is something that I will purchase. Again, is it the best? Probably not. Is it better than Purdue or Tyson? Absolutely. All right, so the next thing we're going into is what's called the bargain hut. And most stores will have something similar to this. It's a place in the back where they might say the day old fruits and vegetables or the day old bread or the day old something like that. It's usually pretty good though. So let's go see what we can find in the bargain hut. bargain hut. Not all of it's organic. A lot of it was picked over. It's a Saturday morning. Probably not the best time to come. On a weekday, there's a ton of stuff here and nobody ever finds it. But for a Saturday, I don't think we did too bad. We did find lettuce, organic lettuce, a lot of different kinds. Spring lettuce, half and half, arugula, great for omelets. All of these are only $1.50 each and they're all organic. Celery, if you guys buy organic celery, you know this stuff is expensive. Usually it's about $2.50 for a whole pack of organic celery. This is only $0.69. Cents. Stick it in a little bit of water, it hardens up again. Oh, I love this one. Cheese, organic cheese. Regularly, $8.84. I got it for $2.19. That's the tree. So, we also have cute little baby peppers, organic, $1.79. We have some tomatoes, $2.18. A whole bunch of pears, it's fruit time right now, $1.98 for these. Oh, what else? The fun thing about this place is you can try a lot of unique things. I don't exactly know what those are, but I'm about to find out. They are organic, probably don't have to be, but they are nonetheless. $1.74 to try. Uh, another little freebie. Salad dressing. I've never tried this stuff. It is organic too. Katie and I are both going to try this. It's only $2.99. For an organic salad dressing, that's a pretty good price. Um, completely all natural. Looks pretty good. We'll see. I think that's it. We're going to head over to the regular food section. Okay, so this is the normal organic section. Just to give you guys a little bit of a comparison. This is organic celery. Look at the price. $2.99. We got ours for $0.69. Cents. Cucumber, organic cucumber. Cucumber really doesn't have to be organic. It has a peel on it anyway. $3.99. We got ours for $0.59. Cents. 
Okay, I do usually get organic carrots. They're much sweeter. I don't think you have to buy organic carrots, but it is one of those foods where there is a definite difference in taste. So typically, um, the two pound bag of carrots would run about $2.79 a pound. They're on sale for $1.50 a pound. Definitely getting some. Okay, I just wanted to quickly show you guys stevia, since I don't usually get the opportunity to show you. Stevia is a natural sweetener that I use on a lot of stuff. Um, there's, as you can see, a lot of different flavors. There's berry, there's grape, coconut, um, cinnamon, orange. I just happen to pick up for myself, cola, I'm making some coke. Um, vanilla cream, all of these different options. So Sweet Drops is a pretty good uh, liquid stevia. Also, there is something called New Naturals. New Naturals is a pretty decent type of stevia too. Some people say it has less of an aftertaste, and so they're also starting to come out with some drops of their own. Um, they also have some powder that you can buy if you're more into taking powder as opposed to a liquid. Additionally, I have started using this stuff called Stevita, and that's a mixture of erythritol and stevia, and so far I have had a lot of success with that in smoothies, and you'd never know that stevia is in there. I guess I'm discovering that there's a liquid form of Stevita. I did not know that existed. So anyways, just to give you guys some options, there is also um, pure organic stevia. There's just, there's a lot of different brands. Also, xylitol I talk a lot about. Okay. Looks like a white powdered sugar. It acts a lot like sugar. Um, does not feed gut bacteria though. It's expensive. Let's see, $14.99, but you're not going to use as much of it either. So there's some sugar options. Okay, so half the benefit of shopping with Nicole is that you've got to get a Starbucks. I am addicted and in love. Katie also found in the Bargain Hut these really cool Jimmy, it's a Jimmy bar. We don't know what it is, but it had all healthy <laughs> ingredients, so we both got one. Yay! Okay, today we're in Kroger, and Katie and I just did a walkthrough, and unfortunately, no, it's not a great day. There's not a lot of sales, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I typically would walk through Kroger and how I would shop at Kroger. So this is the beginning of the store, and usually I can find some sales right up front. So I'll show you where I head first. Okay. Sometimes this type of stuff has some sales. Not always. What you're scanning for is a manager special sticker. Not seen one yet. This is one section in which there's always a manager special. So if you're buying baby romaine, if you're buying the organic baby spring mix, typically you can get it for $1.57, $1.47. Salsa. This is the sticker that I'm looking for. Usually that price is about 40% off the regular price, so I would be buying stuff that has that sticker on it. Selfish. <laughs> if you're into fresh herbs, organic, 99 cents. It, it would be that type of stuff. This obviously is not a necessity, but you know, it's kind of fun every now and then. Okay, the next section, the actual organic section. I don't typically shop here. Apples would be the one exception. $4.99. For apples. Typical non-organic apples would be $4.99 anyway, so there's not a big price difference. Um, other than that, I leave the section alone. There's no sales. Sometimes you might find some goodies on the reduced produce. Basically everything here is $0.99. Cents, so bag of cuties for 99 cents. Not all that bad. You never know what's here, but it's always worth checking out. Sometimes they do have sales. 33 cents a pound for cabbage is a really good deal. Don't walk it too fast for <laughs> you. 
Okay, the next section I'd like to come to would be the organic dairy section. Of course, if we do dairy at all, it should be organic. We've talked about the reason why, the hormones, the antibiotics, the steroids. Once in a great while, you'll find a good deal. I just spotted one. If you do drink milk, I don't. But Horizon Organic Milk, typical price is $7.49. Manager Special, $3.79. So if somebody does drink organic milk, that's not too bad of a price. It's at least half off. Another example, I don't buy it, but if somebody did want it, Greek yogurt, okay, typically $1.39, this one's 69 cents. Um, a better example would be, if you have kids, the Yo Kids smoothies, otherwise, the Yo Toddlers. I do actually like the Stonyfield stuff because it's whole milk. Yes, it is whole milk. This is $1.99 for six of them. Typically, it would be $3.99, so to me, that would be a good deal. That's what you're looking for. You never know what you're going to get here, but it's always worth looking at. Um, another good sale often is the eggs. Simple Truth, cage-free, not necessarily organic, grain-fed free eggs. It's still a better option. Maybe not your organic option, not your farm fresh option, but it's a good option. Right now, they're $2.99. This goes all the way down to about $2.25. That's not a bad price for decent eggs. Um, Gluten-free. There is the option of a gluten-free section. Now in this particular section, you can see gluten-free whole grain bread if you do need gluten-free bread. $5.49. I discovered a place in the back. I just bought this the other day for $2.49. So it does go on sale. That's when you want to get it. This is Katie's favorite. <laughs> All right, a treat every now and then. Uh, Gluten-free double chocolate muffin, $6.99. Just yesterday it was on sale for $2.54. Sorry, Katie. <laughs> this is the healthy gluten-free section, not just gluten-free, but really the health food section. Again, if you're going through this section, what you want to look for is those manager stickers. They don't always exist, but sometimes they do. It's worth just scanning through. I just scanned through, I don't see anything today, but sometimes there is. So you can always check it out. About the meat section? Yeah. The meat section. Okay. Okay, really quickly with the meat at Kroger. Sometimes there is the option of organic, or not necessarily organic, but kind of like what we looked at at Jungle Gyms, there is the natural. With the natural, you are looking at no antibiotics, you are looking at no hormones. It is cage-free, so is it not the best option? It's probably not the best, but it is a good option. When you're buying meat, one thing to take into consideration is the type of meat. This is boneless, skinless. You're looking at $5.99 a pound. This is an actual organic, $2.99 a pound. So if you're willing to take a little extra effort, it's much cheaper. No sales today, unfortunately. All right, the last thing we're gonna look at at Kroger is the bread, because I'm sure most of you guys do buy bread. When I buy it in my family, gluten bread that is, this is a good option. Okay, you've got, again, it's organic, it's flaxseed bread, but it's $3.95. Oops, lost, dyslexic. $3.59. Typically, I would never pay $3.59 for this. Because it's natural, because it's organic, it goes bad pretty quickly. So within, say, two days, that's going to be marked down to $1.59. I only ever pay $1.59 for this. Bring it home, put it in the freezer, it's as good to go. So that would be the last suggestion at Kroger. Don't pay that price. Look for the manager's stickers always and only buy those things. All right guys, and after the end of a really busy shopping day, if you really do have to eat out, the best place to go is Chipotle. Just a quick thanks to Katie, my recorder today. She did an awesome job and actually a lot of the ideas came from her.
Alright, so to show you guys the results of my trip from Jungle Gems and the fact that you can eat healthy and not have to spend a lot of money. Um, this ended up being the results of my trip. I ended up with um, two packages of chicken thighs, tomatoes, bananas, um, we're trying some small critter bananas, looks like little miniature red ones, organic broccoli, raw organic cheese, a new salad dressing, package of orange, oranges, three packages of pears, two packages, about four pounds of organic carrots, three containers of organic lettuces, some arugula, spring mix, spinach, etc., two packages of celery, organic celery, four cucumbers, and a package of organic tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and some funky little sweet peppers that we're going to try on omelets. The total of this ended up being, I don't know if you guys can see this receipt from Jungle Gems, the total at the very bottom, nope, can't see it, ended up being $43.25. So that will probably last us for a good long while for $43. That is really not that bad. Unfortunately, um, Kroger did not have nearly as good of a selection. What I learned today is that shopping on a Saturday is a terrible idea. If you really want to get your deals and you really don't want things to be picked over, go shop somewhere like during the, the day of a week after work or something. You'll get much, much better deals. I hope this was helpful. Um, if we had more time, I would have taken you to the meat market that I go to. I'll shop at Aldi's occasionally. I'll go to Meijer. I'll go to Walmart. But the bottom line is you always shop sales, and you learn how to eat healthy based on the sales that you've found for that week. Thanks.